Uh, did Ross dress for less over there just call me a smoothie machine? I'm the super adaptoid. A high-tech robot with an artist's soul. I love <laughs> Enjoy your blueberry blast. And if anyone remembers you, it will only be as the piece of shit I stepped over on my way to the top. We're throwing down, like right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, this show, this show is fucking awesome. Hands down, Modoc is a damn good show, and it's on Hulu of all things. But honestly, this is the best part of Marvel Phase Four. You serious? I mean, it's everything people want. They want a superhero show, but they want it to be, you know, with big actor names. And then they want it to, you know, touch on modern things like family and children and, you know, people that look like that you're not sure if there were. I mean, you know, the, <laughs> the I love that his daughter looks like him and his son looks like his wife. But OK, so Modoc is pretty much this villain. You know, he's a Marvel villain and this is marvel's i guess attempt at making a villain story like just a joke villain story i don't know it's done by the creators of robot chicken so you know they are able to put in elements of everything you would want like you know they can have the superheroes fighting they can have the villains getting all their tech and getting their team together but this pretty much deals with modok and his family now given i didn't really know much about the character modok but i did know that he was this like big head in a machine but damn this show's depiction of him being like this failure of a you know uh leader of this company aim is just fucking hilarious but so yes modok is a, a series on hulu it's one season uh 10 10 episodes it is so funny oh my gosh Patton oswald is the voice of modok and he just has his humor is just so great i mean just the all the jokes fucking hit it's literally like a like i said an episode of robot chicken but it's done by the robot chicken production team so seth green and all those fools are like a part of this so i mean we could be going down this this route of Marvel instead of I guess these ridiculous TV shows that are like hit or miss you know we can just make mock shows of it because this literally hits all the boxes you know like I, I get I love how the son looks like the mom and the mom is like you know she's Indian excuse me and he, they're like Jewish they're like a Jewish family and there's like an episode where they have like a bar mitzvah like it's just ridiculous it's, it's such nonsense the the super adaptoid which in the comics and I think in the games is like this crazy like machine that like a, like you know takes on the powers of the Avengers or whatever that like MODOK creates or something but the new Avengers game they, they did the storyline of it so it's pretty weird but you know that character the super adaptoid in MODOK oh my gosh man it is so so he is the best. There's an episode where he gets turned into a van. Like, oh my God. It's just, you got to watch it. It's worth it. It's so fucking worth it. It's hilarious. The, the family is just great. The daughter looks like him, you know. <laughs> so him and his wife, like, you know, they obviously got it on to have these kids. And it's just so great. You know, the son is so like flat boy and just doesn't give a fuck. And he's like, you know, super into magic. And the daughter's like super manipulative like he, like he is. It's just fucking hilarious. You know, it's fucking perfect. But um, yeah, honestly, this show is great. And, and I guess this shows that Marvel can literally make some good you know, they can make a great show and make it ridiculous and make you laugh and get all excited for it and take a character that literally, like, like, you know, still use superheroes, of course, here and there, but literally get a super, a, a super villain that is supposed to be this terrifying enigma of a person. And like, again, in the video game, they depict him and he's completely different. Like, oh my God, he's got like a giant head and shit. That's what he is. He's a big headed monster. And in this show, he like loses his company to this like ridiculously like, weird pc uh super ruler under ruler guy it's it's so weird even though he works for like this other these smoke these smoke demon things you gotta watch the show but it's just so funny how they can take they took this character and they were able to put this storyline together so it just shows that there are writers out there that can do some great shit and they can just make things ridiculous and we can enjoy it because it's also based off of other things but again if you remember the source material these creature th these creatures these characters are completely they're completely different so again modok is the best part of the mcu bring him into the bring him into the movies i dare you do it do it